Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for tuning in this is MB. Today let's talk about Python ternary functions. Mm. So what are ternary functions? Ternary functions are, let's say you are, uh, you don't want to write a full function, but you need the ability of function, not like lambda, um, but almost similar. Lambda is another way, a disposable function where you don't have to, you won't give a name to that function, but you will I need to call that later. It is an alternative to lambda, an alternative to your regular function. So let's first go ahead and um, get the um, uh, syntax, right? So this is the syntax. Okay, so ternary with uh, if else. Okay, this is, uh, there are two types of ternary. First, we're gonna discuss is this. Uh, I have a syntax formula for you. You can remember which are, whichever is easy for you, okay? So when true, then you do the if um, expression, else, you do. So you wanna take a decision, right? Decision A, decision B. So if something is true, right? You wanna take a decision A. So you first put that decision A here, then you put the condition uh, against which true or false has to be verified. So if it is true, the first statement is gonna uh, that is when true, right? That is gonna get executed. And if it is false, then the last one is gonna get executed. The only gotcha here is it will evaluate both uh, true and false statement, okay? So it's not that time uh, efficient. So let's take a small uh, code here, where it says fasting is true. So eat banana, if fasting, else eat meal. So in regular English, if I'm fasting, I wanna eat banana. If I'm not, then I will eat a meal. Fasting is true, that means I am fasting. So if I run this, so it says eat banana, right? So control A, control C, control V here. Or uh, let me show you, C and V. That will copy the cell. I will do false and it says eat meal. Okay, I'm not fasting, so eat meals. Uh, makes sense, right? Um, how do you write this uh, in a regular function? So this is how you write a regular function, the same uh, thing, right? So, yep, here we go. So fasting is true, right? If fasting is true, then eat banana, else eat meal. If I do this, so this is how you write a regular function. Now, let me type a print statement here and Okay, so then Okay, so here it says eat banana I'm gonna say CV I will make it false So I'm not fasting right eat meal. So instead of writing this whole uh, big function right uh, with all this indentation you can just do on one liner very efficient, very readable as well. So let's take a practical example. Let's say I have A, B is, um, I have uh, two numbers. Let me take two numbers here, nine, three. And I wanna calculate the minimum, right? So A is minimum. Let's say if A is less than B, else it is B, makes sense. So I'm gonna print out, so three. Three is lesser than nine, so that is the minimum number compare when you are comparing these two numbers. How do you do ternary with tuples now? Ternary with tuples, now we were doing ternary with um, attributes, uh, you, you were giving two possibilities and you were taking a decision which one to choose based on true or false. So here, what if I am giving you a tuple? So here, is a uh, basic syntax of that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so when false and when true. So you have a tuple and you have both the possibilities in that tuple. First you put the false one and then you put the true one. And in square bracket, you put the condition. So this is usually avoided um, due to it being no, not so clearly readable, right? And it's, it doesn't make sense, okay? I mean, how does it work? But this 
for a regular English reader, it, it makes sense, right? But yeah, I mean, if at all you have to use this, go ahead and use this. Okay, so here we have an example. Fasting is true. Eat banana, eat meal. Fasting is true. Let's see what, what it does. It says eat meal, right? So the first one is false, second one is uh, true. But um, fasting is true, right? So it's supposed to print eat banana, but it's printing eat meal because you know, I just wanted to show you the difference here. If it was the same case with this one, right? Let me take and run this. So here, true comes first, but in a tuple ternary expression, false comes first. So wrong result, right? So what I will do here is I will do exchange these things. Hmm. Here we go. So since I'm fasting now it should, okay, eat banana, right? So that makes sense. So now let's say you have, um, okay, let's take this same thing again, right? We wanna, um, so, calculate if a is okay let's do this b comma a right uh, expression is a less than b yeah so if a is less than b i mean that if that is a true statement then print this one if this statement is false then print the false one right so the false statement true state uh, the result of false statement the result of true statement here is a statement so a is less than b is a less than b 9 less than uh, mm, b no right so why is it uh, printing b then right but here as you can see i have given b comma a right so to make that easy for you let me give you this or let me make it even easier for you. Um, nine, I don't wanna confuse this. Nine, comma uh, three, end expression. And I wanna say here if nine is greater than three. So if nine is greater than three, print three, right? That makes sense, uh, but if I do this, it prints nine. If is nine less than three? No, that's a false statement. So absolutely it prints nine. So if, um, print three if nine greater than three, else print nine. Okay, then let's say, can you do ternary with dictionaries? Yes, you can. There we go. All right, ternary with dictionary. So let's um, take a dictionary here. A comma B is nine comma three. True is, if it is true, then A. If it is false, then print B. A is, A is A less than B. A is nine, B is three, is A less than B? No, so false, A is not less than B, that is nine is not less than three, so it prints um, three. Uh, if, I, uh, if you wanna see this way, then let's say, I wanna put three here, so nine here, three here, nine here, three less than nine, right? Is three less than nine? Yes. So if I take this and do this. Okay, so is three greater than nine? No, oh, it's false, it's a false statement. So here for false statement, I'm been told that I have to print false. So or I have been told to print the value of false that is nine so i'm printing that now can you do ternary with lambda 
Yes, you can. Here we go. Okay, ternary with lambda. We already know what is a lambda function. Again, we'll take a comma b nine three lambda b, and uh, you have lambda a a less than b. Then you give this parenthesis. It's a uh, again. It's not that readable, but it can be done. I avoid it it as much or uh, it's possible. So everything else that you can do with this, you can do with uh, something else with Python. You have many different ways of doing it in Python unless and until you have to use ternary with Lambda, I suggest you not to use it. It's just messy to understand, messy to explain. But yes, you can do it. I just wanted to like show you. You can choose to ignore it. So Lambda B is nine and uh, Lambda A, A is what value is um, three. So a, if a is less than b, then go ahead and you know uh, execute this one. So yeah, okay. So nested ternary operations. Can you nest them? Yes. Uh, here we go. I have a b. A values nine. B values three. A equals b if a and b are equal, right? Else you go ahead and do this. So this is one ternary operation. This entire result is gonna be used with this ternary operation. So if I run this, it says now A is greater than B, of course. A is nine and B is three, so A is greater than B. This is the same as this. Okay, so I think this will um, clear up the things a bit. As you can see, so this is first ternary operation. First, this thing gets executed, right? And then the result of this is going to be executed as a whole. Here we go. Yeah. So uh, there are some things to note, though. They are. OK. So when using ternary with if else statement, the true statement comes first, but with tuple, false comes first. Right, tuple and dictionary evaluate both true and false uh, expression, so it's uh, kind of inefficient. I think I misspoke uh, in the beginning. Uh, it's other way around. But so yeah, here whatever that I'm saying here, note points. These are correct. Tuple and dictionary evaluate both true and false uh, expression, so you might want to avoid using them. You just use the regular ternary function. Lambda evaluates only one expression, true or false. So when ternary functions are nested, they get executed one by one from left to right, as we saw it here, right? So that's all I had for today. Thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.